Hi, it's Christy again. Today I want to talk about energy and I want to talk about it not as what has got the lights on above me or what's powering my camera here, but I want to think about the energy and all things that are around us. And I think it's important to recognize that we are creatures and beings of energy and to understand the impacts that it can have on us. I found this quote that fear is the energy that contracts and love is the energy that expands. And I'm going to put a link down below. I did a video on the, the power of words and the energy of words because I think it's really important to understand that we can pick up on the energy of either negative things that are happening, negative thoughts, if we're watching a lot of violence or listening a lot of things in the news that are very negative, we can actually absorb those and at the same time we can also put out energies. That's why sometimes animals will pick up on how we're feeling, they may pick up on our fear. Uh, you may have heard the expression that animals can smell our fear. I think it, it may, some of that may be the smell because of, of hormones and things that we put off, but I think it also can be the energy levels that we put off. So I, I want to throw out there for uh, the ABCs of wellness, I want you to think about the energy of words that you use, words that you hear, and the things that are going on in your life. And try to be aware of what things make you feel good, what things make you feel bad, how can we manifest more of the positive things in our life. So when we think about the energy and we think about the energy of our words, I know the expression sticks and stones may break our bones and words will never hurt us, but that's not entirely true. Though we have to accept the negative energy of the words. It is important to understand that that words are not just the, the words and the, the letters and the vowels and things that are there, but the intent behind the words that we give them also uh, are portrayed. So think about how you say certain words. There's a word, I love ice cream, okay? Or there's, I love ice cream. And you can feel sometimes that there's different energy, but even we know that a lot of times love is considered a more positive emotion. So when we're thinking about the energy of the words that we use and the things that we say, just recognize that we are like putting out energy that's like ripples in the pond uh, that are out there. So think about the words that we use. Think about the things that we're watching and that we're absorbing because I think it's important to think about the energy if we think about energy in the terms of the pillars of wellness, so if we think about energy from stress uh, on our body and on our minds, then think about the types of things that you're, you're taking into your mind, the things that you're listening to. Are you listening to things that have a positive message? Are you listening to things that make you feel good? Um, what are the words that you that you hear people saying? Are you surrounding yourself with people that uplift you? Or are you surrounding yourself with people that put you down? So think about energy from the effects that it's having on the stress. Now that's two-sided because we also control how we react to things and we control the stress that we feel. So it's important to understand that we control whether or not we want to accept uh, and uh, internalize this, those things that are causing uh, negative energy around us. So realize that we can take the power and take control of those. Let's think about energy when it comes to uh, moving our body. It's really important to keep our bodies moving. Uh, even though it's in, it's we are creatures that are designed to be more sedentary and conserve energy, it, getting the body moving and getting the blood flowing and moving the muscles and, and doing the energy like that is really important because it's kind of uh, like a body in motion stays in motion. It's much harder to overcome the inertia. So by slowly getting ourselves moving, that's actually expending the energy, believe it or not, helps us build more energy in the future. When it comes to sleeping, a lot of times it's important to recognize when the energy that we expend by moving and things of that nature does help us rest better. But on another note that we may not think about, the energy that we're receiving from electronic devices and the energy of the messages that we receive before we go to sleep can impact how we sleep. So take a look at your life and think about how the energy 
of things that you're doing before you're going to bed and you're trying to sleep or think about what are you filling your mind with before you go to bed um, and is that affecting how you sleep. Uh, when it comes to uh, nutrition, we want to think about having nutrient-dense uh, foods that we're going to eat so that we're filling our body with the good energy there. I'm going to do some uh, uh, videos in the future about water, the power of water, the types of water that we drink, uh, energizing your water. I think that's a neat concept that um, my husband and I have started doing uh, using positive words. I have positive words written all over my water bottle. Um, so the energy of the foods that we ingest, you want very high quality foods that are nutrient dense. Uh, those are going to be a good sources, healthy sources of energy for us. And then when we think about um, exercising and moving our minds in the positive energies and we're th thinking about stressing our bodies, we're thinking about resting our bodies, and we're thinking about nourishing our bodies, think about all those things and the type of energy and how it makes you feel. Um, and really start to tune into that energy because we all are more sensitive to it than we realize. We've just gotten bombarded with a lot of things uh, with all the electronics and the noise and the people talking and, and the stimulation. That sometimes we uh, get overwhelmed with that too. But I want you to take some time um, from the ABCs of Wellness and think about your levels of awareness about the energies, positive and negative energies that you have in your life and think about them in terms of the pillars of wellness and how they fit in. And I'd love to hear your feedback on your thoughts about energy and things that you find that energize you, things that, that drain your energy. I'd love to hear some comments about that. And then we're going to talk more about the power of, of words and positivity and things in some other videos. And I'll put the links down below for those too. So I hope that you have uh, an interesting time thinking about the energy of the things around you and, and that positive energy and, and things that you're doing in your life to kind of to fill your energy banks and the things that drain it too. And like I said, I'd love to hear from you and more to come. Have a great day.